Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Full Story Playthrough. My name is Foxy Games, and when we last left off, we were in the middle of an investigation into a series of bloody murders, which led us here to Hawk Manor, a new dungeon that we're going to be delving into and fighting a whole lot of floating eyeballs. I'm sure of it. We're in the best gear for us right now that we currently possess, so we're going to go ahead and jump into queue for this dungeon. Here we are. Hawk Manor. That took way longer than it should have. The queue, I mean, not the opening. Oh good, our healer is in his underwear. Well, here we go. Upstairs. Maybe. No? I think we actually go this way. That's right, upstairs is on hard mode. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Oh, get away from there. Kill the lady. Kill the lady. Oh dear. Healer. Thank you. Why? Oh, I see why. Because I kept forgetting to turn on Iron Will. Well, I'm going to say that was the... the other dude's fault because he was pulling shit that I didn't pull. Oh yes, and the battle music in here is different. It's actually quite nice. Get away, get away, get away, get away! Yeah, these things, they don't mess around. Now, it has been some time since I've actually done this place. But I'm pretty sure this is the right way. This is one of the few dungeons where you can potentially get lost if you don't know the way. Most of them are very straightforward. Come here. Why are you over there? Did somebody get the key? Yes. Oh dear. Well, she went down like a bitch. I actually don't know if it was necessary to come in here, but we did. Just for fun, you know. Guys, stop pulling things. Oh, but of course, there's treasure in here. Somebody has a Moogle weapon. It keeps making the Moogle noise. Yeah, I think four things is enough. Considering the healer can barely keep me up as it is. Oh dear. I don't know if they were in a, a room off to the side, or if somebody's just getting too aggressive. But that somebody wasn't me. I'm assuming they were off to the side, though. It's fine. 
Everything, everything went better than expected. Anything in here? There's a key. <clears throat> and there's a boss. Alright, friends, let's kill this lady. Well, I'm sure glad I was facing her away. Otherwise, that would have cleaved the entire party. Get away! She's not too complicated. Just people have to move out of the way when she does that. And I have to keep her facing away when she does that. And stunning her every now and then doesn't hurt. And she's going down. And she drops a key of the green variety. I can't use that. If I was a marauder, I could. But I'm not. Okay. Down we go. The carnation door. So we need a carnation key, which I assume is this way. So we have to kill these spooky, scary skeletons and these corpse flies. Stop pulling things off of me. All right. Now, the key... Oh. There's another key in here. Two of them, actually. I don't believe there's anything in there that we need, so we keep moving. And I have to really make sure I pull all these guys. I'm pretty sure I nearly just died there. I wasn't really paying attention to my health, but I saw it go from very low to very high. Oh dear. Healer needs to really step it up. Alright. We need a yellow key in here. Oh, somebody's getting it. Alright, as soon as we get that yellow key, we can continue. Allow me. And here we go. We just get to kill the shit out of this toddler and a skeleton. And I believe you want to kill the toddler first. And it's obviously not a real toddler, it's an imp. But, <laughs> hearkening back to my Idiots of Eorzea series, we always referred to this thing as the toddler. And the toddler is now dead. And now we get to kill the skeleton. <laughs> These early dungeons are very simplistic. Kill the toddler, kill the skeleton, kill the lady. Take the bloody parchment. Okay. Ooh, I'll take that. And I'll take 
I can't take that. Fug. Oh yes, and when you're in a dungeon, if you click the return button, you can then uh, teleport back to the starting point. Which is exactly what we shall do. Oh yes, and uh, we'll put on that scale mail. Now we go upstairs. Come here. This thing is made of tougher stuff than some of the other enemies. Ah, yes, because it's going to run in here and trigger a cutscene. Lady Amandine. She's not as scarred as she used to be. In fact, she's looking pretty good for an evil bitch. Okay, final boss of this dungeon. Here we go. Lady Amandine will light these void torches that you will see around the room. It will be our objective to turn those off as soon as possible. Yep, the DPS and the healers can do it. I, on the other hand, will be right over here, tanking the boss. Those void lamps hurt like hell, so we definitely want them off. And she's not a particularly difficult boss. You, come over here. Oh my goodness, healer. This handmaiden needs to die quick. I know that much. Ah, there's two of them. Yeah, this fight gets a little bit chaotic right at the very end. But we need this Handmaiden to die, because pretty sure they have a very powerful attack that you don't want to get off. But, doesn't matter now, because the lady is dead. And we've leveled up. Hooray! And what's the loot? It's an axe. Can't use it. And, well, you're the only one left, so we'll command you. Why not? I got two commands. Very nice. Darkness has taken root within these halls. Sprung from the most unlikely of seeds. One cannot help but admire the irrepressible spirit that quickened it to life. Ah, more than one Asian. Neither of them are La, are La Habrea. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, adventurer. You are every bit as intriguing as our master gave us to believe. It is no ordinary mortal who can acquire one crystal of light, much less three. The crystals make you strong, and it is to that strength that the light is drawn. Heidelin chose well. A pity that your existence is irreconcilable with our own. We cannot well allow you to continue upon your present course. 
Alas, we came here not to play, but to take the measure of your strength for Master La Habrea. That task is now accomplished, and we will take our leave from you. Fare you well, bringer of light. So we didn't find a La Habrea himself, just his lackeys. What a shame. But at least we quelled the evil inside of Hawk Manor. We, get a, we got ourselves some new gear. And we can go back to Gridania and report our success. We're back. You are returned. What sights awaited you within the manor? What has become of Lady Amandine? You must tell me all. So she went so far as to consort with devils. Would that I could have done more to prevent her fall. May she finally find peace in the beyond. I know not whether the masked men you encountered are the same pair that first led my lady astray, but it is plain that they are of the same vile brood. Should the chance ever present itself, promise me that you will visit upon them tenfold the woe that they have brought upon others. But who am I to speak of punishment? By my silence, I allowed not... Uh, I, al I, bleh, I allowed... I know not how many innocent young women to die unspeakable, in unspeakable circumstances. It matters not wherefore, through misplaced loyalty, cowardice, or both. I am in a better to a gross crime. I will surrender myself to the authorities and accept whatever punishment they deem just. I only pray that the gods will have mercy on my soul. Well, that's that then. At least he's repentant about it, though I guess he probably wouldn't have been if we hadn't come along. But the circumstances of it are now irrelevant. We're, our job is done out here. We're going back to talk to Minfilia. Hello again, Minfilia. Welcome back, Foxy. Full glad am I to see you safely returned. Tell me, how fared you on your sojourn to the Twelves Wood? Two of La Habrea's minions, and they sought to measure your strength by their own admission? The devils taunt us. It is beyond doubt, then. The Asians have begun to move in earnest. Would that we knew to what end. Yet I will not bemoan our plight. Thanks to your tireless efforts, we are at least aware of the encroaching darkness. Alas, we can only do so much. It is clear to me now that we Scions are too few to protect the realm against this threat unaided. We must needs alert the three nations to the presence of this elusive enemy, and recommend that they, be, that they heighten their vigil. There is no shortage of misery in the world that the Asians might exploit. We have an arduous struggle ahead of us. Yet come what may, we must not allow ourselves to become lost to hope, for that is precisely what the enemy desires. We have gleaned all we can from the information available to us. Let us set this investigation aside for the present. Another matter has arisen that requires your attention. Let me know when you're ready to be briefed, and I will summon the others. We get an earring. Uh, this one. Let's go ahead and put on that earring. And talk to Minfilia again. Looks like we'll be getting, well, we would have been getting some new armor, except it's not as good as what we currently have, but that's okay. Ah, here are our friends. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Ah, the voice acting is finally back. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume? Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Our task will be to slay the Primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the Endeavor. 
They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, two primals, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, by the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity the Kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the Sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. As if we could do that. So you will accept? Thank you. We can't very well send her to Limsa Lominsa without Yastola. Can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yastola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Sancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Ariange, send word to the students of Baldessian and Alfino if you would. Papalimo, compile all the information we have on Titan Little though it may be. You will be apprised of the tactical situation when you reach the Sailor's Ward. Provision yourself for the journey. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright, we have our new assignment. We have to get out to Limza and learn all we can about this reemergence of the Primal Titan. And we'll head right on over there. Okay, so this person we need to speak to is over here at the Maelstrom HQ. Ra'ashat Riki. It's a kitty. Hail adventurer and welcome to the Maelstrom Command. If you wish to know more about enlisting, speak with the personnel officer. That's not why I'm here. Unless you are the guest we were told to expect. Uh, ha. Ahem. <clears throat> Forgive me, madam. To business, then. It is as we told the antecedent. The kobolds have once again summoned Titan. A little over a moon ago, we began to observe the beastmen moving south in increasing numbers from Ogomoro. Our scouts sub subsequently confirmed the object of their aggression. Crystals, fodder for their fell primal. Merylwib. Thank you, High Commander. You may leave the rest to me. Word has spread of your accomplishments, Foxy. On behalf of Limza Laminza, I thank you for heeding our call. Forgive the lack of forewarning, High Commander. The Admiral wished to address Foxy personally. We are no strangers to conflict. Long have the Sahagin and the Kobolds plagued our people. Why is Sahagin capitalizing Kobolds not? <laughs> Little things you pick up on. 
Uh, long have they plagued our people, nor is this the first time we have had to address a primal threat. In the past, when Titan rose to threaten the peace, it was to the company of heroes we turned. But they are long disbanded, and we must look to other brave souls blessed with the strength to face this foe. So it is that we now turn to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, confident in the belief that you are Limsa's best hope. I hope you are right, yet the situation is far from simple. The kobolds are not prone to, uh, to unprovoked aggression. aggression. Did not the Thalassocracy make a pact with the Beastmen that each would keep to their own lands and that no blood would be shed? And was it not the Leminsons who violated the agreement, dissatisfied with their lot? Shall we then condemn the Beastmen for defending their homes? Even a pirate must one day reap what she has sown. I would advise you to choose your words with greater care, Lady Yustola. Stand down, High Commander, she has the right of it. And the wrong is mine. Freely do I claim it. Yet it makes little difference. Remorse will not shield us from Titan's wrath. Or would you have us fall upon our swords? My apologies, Admiral. The safety and security of Limsa Laminza's citizenry are, of course, of paramount concern. Already, we have observed disruptions in the flow of Aether further inland. The effects will be felt here in the city ere long. I ask much of you, I know, but the need is great. Can I count on your help, Foxy? Of course, we're a primal slaying machine. You have my thanks, along with the full support of the Maelstrom. I await good tidings. That the Kobold should summon Titan demonstrates that they are no longer amenable to negotiation. This being the case, we must needs prepare for conflict. Before we meet Titan in the field, however, it would be wise to learn all we can of our foe. And I can think of no better source of information than the mercenaries who defeated him once before. The Company of Heroes may be no more, but several of its former members still live. It is said that one of them is employed at the Grey Fleet Mills in Lower Linosia. Quite why a mercenary should choose to become a miller, I do not know. When you find him, mayhap you could ask him for me. I, meanwhile, shall seek his fellows. <coughs> Alright, we have a heading. We need to go speak with Tractum. He's in Lower Linosia, where we have not gone yet. Well, as it turns out, Aleport was exactly the right place to go. We took a boat, and now we're here in Lower Linosia. First things first, there's an Aetherite over there. I love the music out here in Linosia. It reminds me of something you'd hear in a Studio Ghibli movie. Ah oh, man, this place is pretty. It's way prettier than Thanalan for sure. This is one of the lower level places, so you're gonna see a lot of uh, a lot of beginner classes out here. Just look at this. Look at look at the windmills. How whimsical. I love it. It's beautiful. All right, here we are, the Gray Fleet. Let's see. Here's Yastola. The Company of Heroes is the most celebrated mercenary band in the history of Eorzea. Even so, I must admit I have never before met one of their members face to face. I imagine that a warrior who had toppled both Titan and Leviathan would seek to bask in a lifetime of fame and glory. And he seems to have settled in a place distinctly bereft of adoring crowds. Gee, I wonder why that is. You're about to find out. Lay down your burden, son. Come drain a pint with me. We'll have a grand old time. Find thee a lass or three. You gonna want? You gonna say something, Venture, or just keep staring? Eh? You wanna know about the company of heroes? Ah, hell's price of bleeding fame. Can't a miller mill in peace no more? Still, seeing as you've come all this way, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to oblige you. Consider yourself lucky, lass. Old Tractum was in the was the company of yeah was the company's best axeman. Now, what was it you wanted to know? All right, let's see what this guy has to say. And look at that outfit. I I can't. 
Gahaha. So you want to hear the tale of how the Company of Heroes bested a primal, do you? Let me guess. You mean that bastard Titus, I? Oh, if you only you'd be there to see it. This was a mighty struggle, like the legends of old. Me and the boys fought him for three days and nights, we did. The ground trembled with every step Titus took, and when he, uh, he hit your girl, it felt like a cannonball to the gut. Ugh, just like that. Boy, what's that look for? I'm a goddamn hero, I'll have you know. The people around here sing me praises. Don't tell me you only care about learning the secret tactics we used to beat old Titus. That's three times now he's gotten the name wrong. <laughs> well, too bad. Because now I'm not feeling charitable. If you're so damn desperate, then why don't you do me a favor and kill those rats that have made a nest by the windmill just south of here? I do that, then we'll talk. Have you figured out what this guy is yet? Because he doesn't make it very hard. Alright, rats. There's some rats. Wow, those are some strong rats. Not strong enough to do anything to me, though. Okay. Oh, shit. There's more. The Rat King. Oh, no. What are we gonna do? Aside from, you know, kill it. Okay, the stupid rats are dead. Maybe he'll talk now. Eh? So the beasties are dead, are they? Nice work, adventurer. Save me the hassle of... Eh, uh, never mind. Well, we're still not getting a sword. We're getting another one of these Mac Weedles. Uh. Someday. Someday we'll be... It's not even good. Oh, it's the same damn thing. I should have taken the gold. Whatever. What? You still asking how, how we beat Titus? I don't know, Adventurer. It was a pretty risky strategy, the kind only a veteran of ten score battles could rely upon. I want to teach you, I truly do. But unless you prove you have what it takes to face that fat bastard, I can't in good conscience tell you a damn thing. At the very least, you need to be capable of slaying, say, a gubu. Come to think of it, that ain't a bad idea. Them creatures have a taste for the flour milled here, so you ought to have no trouble finding one in the vicinity. Of course, I ain't asking you to cut one down quick as a skilled axeman like myself. Any road, why don't you try head and do weast and stand and look out in case a, a, a gubu comes calling? Slay it and I might consider telling you more about old Titus. Okay, another chore. But we can kill a gubu. I mean, we killed Ifrit. I'm going to keep going back to that until I, we kill something bigger, by the way. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh look, wouldn't you know, there's a Gubu. And hey, wouldn't you know, it's just about dead. Will this satisfy Tractum? Who the fuck knows? Eh, you again? And that Gubu that was hassling the Millers is dead? Didn't think you had it in you, adventurer. Still, you took forever and a day to get the job done. It took me like 30 seconds. I'm still not sure if I should tell you our secrets. Oh, God, can I just kill him? So, uh, as I was saying, I still don't know if you've got what it takes to face Titus. Maybe if you slew it. Tracked him. You in here drinking again. If you are, that Gubu had better be dead. Oh, it's dead, Chief. You have my word on that. Cleave the beast's skull in two with me trusty axe, I did. Is that a fact? And what will your friend here say if I ask her? Sh she'll vouch for me, of course. Ain't that white, friend? 
Tell me, True, was it Tractum who slew the Gubu, or was it you? Chief, what are you saying? It's me, Tractum, the finest axeman ever to serve in the company of heroes, the legendary mercenaries who slew that bastard Titus. Titus? Titus? Who in the seven hell is Titus? Some primal you fought in a drunk sodden dream? The company of heroes slew Titan, you bloody halfwit. I... well, see, Titus was what me and the lads used to call him. That's the biggest load of Sahagan shite I've ever heard. Both of you outside will learn the truth the Laminzen way. Tractum, if you didn't slay that Grubu, you may consider your contract revoked. So yeah, if you haven't figured it out yet, this guy's a fucking fraud. They call me a working man, I reckon that's what I am. Drinking under the chief's nose, sneaking out the back door, and nobody will ever know. <laughs> God. Alright, let's see what the lemons and way of finding the truth is. Oh, of course, he gets a small boulder. Alright, you know the rules. First one to smash the, the to smash their boulder will be judged the Gubu Slayer. And don't even think about trying to kill me, that's cheating. Who picked these boulders? They're nothing alike. Ah, hell's with it. Let the contest begin. As much as I'd love to just flat out murder you for being a stupid fraud, I'd rather just embarrass you. Look at this guy, he's pathetic. Oh yeah, and he stuck a paralysis thing on me because he's a dirty cheater. And now he's gonna start swinging at me. Now he's putting bombs. Luckily, his bomb is timed too long. So I broke my boulder first anyway. Alright, alright, I admit it. I lied about being in the company of heroes. But I'm begging you, Chief, please don't dismiss me. I have learned me lesson. Honest, I have. Save your blubbering tractum. Oh, gods, I should have known. Mercy, please. I didn't want to deceive you, I swear. It's just that I kept getting turned away by all the folk when I asked for work, and I panicked. See, the last job I had was at Costa del Sol, and there was this grizzled marauder everyone treated like royalty. When I heard that he was a captain, uh, a captain of the Company of Heroes, I finally understood why. I wasn't being serious when I said I was one of them. But you went and believed me, so I... So I, uh... Look, his name was Waistkit. Uh, Alright, Waistkit. He'll tell you how to defeat Titus, or whatever the hell that thing's name is. That's what you wanted, ain't it? So come on then, tell the chief to forgive me, it's only fair. No, I think you should probably be jobless. <laughs> Fucking pathetic waste of oxygen. So we have to go to Costa del Sol, we haven't been there yet. So the question is, how do we get there? Well, we're in Lower Linosia now, and all we have to do is head north. Oh look, stuff that needs to die for the glory of the hunt. Oh man, the sound that it just made was adorable. I almost feel bad for killing it. What even are they? Some kind of weird bird. Vegetable. Well, they're about to be vegetables after I get through with them. <laughs> But, you know. Ooh, there's a fate nearby, and it has to do with crabs, which reminds me of yet another one of the, uh, one of the Idiots of Eorzea videos that I made with my brother and my friends that you should totally go and check out, because they're hilarious. 
Hmm, we've got just under four minutes to kill a whole bunch of crabs. Can we do it? Maybe. Oh, this is a bit frustrating. If I had at least, like, another minute and a half, I probably could have finished it. Oh, well. Two, one. Fail. But it's fine. You still get some rewards. Welcome to Costa del Sol. A tropical paradise. With massive, murderous buffalo right outside the, the beach area. And of course, this place is run by a fucking Lalafell. Because they have all the fucking money. Alright, we skate. Or however the hell you say your name. Pardon? You wish to slay the Lord of Crags? We must slay him, Captain. The people of Limsala Minz are depending upon us. Hm. You fancy yourselves heroes, then, just like in the tales. Be not so quick to judge. Long have I labored for the well-being of you and yours, and my associate here has bathed in Ifrit's hellfire and lived. She is blessed with a power that protects her from primal influence. Thus was she able to lay low the Lord of the Inferno. We know full well the risks, and have taken every possible precaution. We lack only the knowledge of how to enter Titan's lair. Pray be so good as to grant us the boon of your wisdom, and we shall be on our way. A woman who can't be tempered? Useful, but it will not be enough. It is true that the company of heroes fought and failed primals, but each victory was bought with the lifeblood of brave men and women. And Titan was the worst we faced. Aye, we defeated him, in the end, but he took from us some of our very best. Even if you possess the power you claim, I have no reason to believe you will succeed. Believe what you will, we mean to try. Though our lives be forfeit, we will not abandon Limsa to the wrath of Titan. You are passionate, I'll grant you that. And you deserve better than, a, than the greeting I gave you. But I will not send you into Ogomoro on a whim. To be plain, I do not wish to see you give your lives in vain. At the very least, I must have assurance that you are more than common adventurers. I oversee security for Master Gagaruju's estates. Perhaps you can demonstrate your abilities by attending to one of our... Ye gods, man, have you heard nothing I just said? We have not the time to perform trivial tasks. The enemy is at the gates. Do you imagine words can sway me, girl? If you dislike my conditions, then you are welcome to find your own way into Ogomoro. <sighs> Though it, plains, it pains me to admit... I fear we have no choice but to acquiesce to the man's demands. Yet much remains to be done if we are to best Titan. Forgive me, but I must ask you to undertake this task alone. I will use this time to see to the remaining preparations. Leaving the dirty work to others, are we? <laughs> Very well. Pray do whatever the good captain bids, however trifling. Remember, the fate of Limsala Minza hangs in the balance. Cat, you better not be making noise on my mic by doing this. He's rubbing his head against my earphone. Master Gagaruja's requests can be more demanding than you realize. Before I set you to your true task, I would like to verify that this won't be a waste of my time. A Nyx has recently been seen prowling the beach to the east. As you can imagine, my master does not want large slimy creatures anywhere near his lands. The beast is cunning but you should have no difficulty in luring it out with herring. Slay the Nyx and return to me. Oh, and don't forget to bring me a leg as proof of the kill. Into the water, which dismisses the chocobo. Let's use the herring. See if we could lure out this Nyx. What? Oh, I'm lying in wait. Well, fine. Friend request? Sure. Why not? Oh, that's a Nyx. Damn. I forgot that it was a huge frog.
Well, it's dead. Uh, let's see. What's your free company like? Oh, it's Alice in Wonderland theme. You know, I'm I'm okay with that, honestly. All right. We have the Nick's leg. Let's go ahead and talk to Whiskate over here. Well, did you deal with the Nicks? I sure did. Lest you think me overly cautious for testing you in this way, you should know that we had an incident long, not long ago. A foolish young employee was dismissed for lying about his past. He claimed to have served in the company of heroes, but I knew for a fact he did not. Gee, I wonder who that was. Anyway, now that the pointless busy work is finished, I shall give you a challenge as befits your talents. Good. Two highly distinguished individuals are scheduled to visit Costa del Sol in the near future, and Master Gigaruju wishes to welcome them with an elaborate banquet. But while money is no object, not everything Master Gigaruju desires can be so easily purchased. It is to be an extremely exotic feast, and so, Foxa, your mission is to seek out and obtain the rare ingredients our chef requires. It will be a long and arduous journey, but you need not toil alone. Many of the mercenaries who once served under my command still live, and they will guide you in your quest. For the first ingredient, I will have you travel to the South Shroud and speak with Landonel at Camp Tranquil. What? Do you mean to tell me that you cannot afford to waste time as your associate did? Adventure, if you have not the endurance to complete this mission, how do you expect me to believe you can outlast the Lord of Crags? Either do it or don't. I have work to do. Well, it seems like this guy really doesn't understand that Titan is literally already summoned. But, well, we won't convince him, so let's go and do these chores. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Do you require assistance, adventurer? So this is the one who would challenge Titan. I've been expecting you, Foxy. The ingredient you seek is the egg of a giant adamantois. The method of acquisition should be obvious. You steal it from the beast's nest, of course. Simple in theory, but difficult in execution. Most who try die in the attempt. Will I help you get it? <laughs> you amuse me. I will not jeopardize my position by openly assisting you. From me, you'll receive only information. What you do with it is your choice. Let me be clear, this business between you, me, and the captain must remain a secret. See, I don't regret my time spent with the company in the slightest. Traveling the world, meeting interesting people, killing them, it was all jolly good fun. Alas, Gridanians are by and large an unforgiving lot. Dito here being a rare example. Or exception, rather. I've had to go to great lengths to ensure that <clears throat> I am seen as a model citizen with no taste for drinking, whoring, gambling, and all those other activities I so dearly miss. So I understand that so I understand if that, that if you ruin my little charade by wagging your tongue, I'll fashion a noose with your entrails and hang you from the nearest heaven's pillar. Wow. Now then, where were we? Ah yes, the egg. The first thing you must do is deal with the sentries patrolling the Adamantois breeding grounds. Poaching is illegal in Gridania, in case you are unaware. A shame we have so few whalers to spare, especially with brownie brushes almost in season. Matron for Fend if agaric flies claim the crop before we receive additional sentries. Aye, we will soon need barrels of sting brew to weaken and ward off the pests. But if any of the vile kin were found near the shrooms before we can take presentative measures, we would be forced to shift our patrols immediately. You will, of course, notify me if you encounter any agaric flies in the vicinity of the lower paths, yes? Sneaky bastard. So in case any of you missed that, we're basically going to uh, cause a diversion with these flies. Or rather, I'm going to find some flies and then tell the whalers that they're there. <laughs> so we're going to... Oh, fucking bird. As I was saying, we're going to search through this bush 
And then we're going to use Sting Brew on these flies. And that's going to weaken them significantly. That's one dead fly swarm. And then we take a brownie brush. Why he wants one of these is beyond me. That didn't seem like part of the plan. I pray this Yerk's crop of brownie brushes comes late. Oh my, is this a brownie brush? And you say a whole s uh, you see you, s you slew a whole swarm of agaric flies? Matron's teats, we cannot wait for reinforcements. We must do something. Sneaky bastard. Oh hey, we got a helmet. As you can see, I hid that uh, ridiculous looking mouthpiece, but let's see what this new helmet looks like. Why, it looks like hot garbage, so we're going to hide that too. This agaric fly infest infestation requires our full attention. I thank you for bringing it to my attention, adventurer. If I may impose upon your kindness further, I would ask you to inform my subordinates of this dire development. I have three whalers currently standing, ground, uh, standing guard at, in Roots Lake. Inform each man that they are to proceed to the lower paths and search for agaric fly swarms until further notice. Let's do just that. Agaric flies in the lower paths? Then I mustn't delay. Thank you for relaying Captain Landonel's orders, adventurer. Man, this is so scummy. Just to, <laughs> to help some guy's stupid party. And not just some guy, some fucking Lalafell. A message from the captain? Damn, those Vilekin are a danger to travelers on the road. Ah, I'm hitting my mic here. I will depart immediately. What's that? Everyone has to search the lower paths for agaric flies? Hmm, I know we haven't had to deal with poachers recently, but I cannot help but worry that they will strike in our absence. Ah, but an order is an order. Well, you aren't wrong. Now I have to go back and talk to him, and then I'm going to have to come back down. When the, past, when the patch comes out in August, it is going to fix some of these quests. And actually a lot of them, and remove some flat out to make A Realm Reborn more palatable. I take it... God damn, I hit my mic again because I'm scratching my ear. I take it you have informed my men, then. Excellent work, Foxy. However, I cannot keep the roosters distracted for too long. If you wish to pillage the hen house, you must do so now. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a perfectly good adamantois egg in a nest to the east of here, just ripe for the taking. Not that I expect you to live long enough to claim it. The mother never strays far from the child, and, if you, and you will surely be attacked the moment you lay hands upon the egg. There will be other heroes, Foxy. You do not need to challenge Titan. Abandon your quest, or your corpse will rot in this swamp. Nah, I'm good. A quiet life doesn't suit me. Here's the egg. Let's grab it. Oh no. Here's an Adamantois. Oh look. It's dead, almost. Now it's dead. Oh, fucking egg. You know, I feel kind of bad. It was only trying to protect its egg. Oh well. Dinner time. For some rich assholes. I thought you might have the good sense to leave this place. By your continued presence, I take it you intend to persevere to the bitter end. Yep. Ahaha! Such bravery, such recklessness. That will serve you well against Titan. Leave the egg with me. I'll see to it that it gets to the captain. You should make haste to southern Thanalan. In Forgotten Springs, you'll find a man named Uod Nun. He will be your next guide. Safe travels, Foxy. Ooh, I haven't been here yet. I've been here, though. Now we're in the proper sandy desert part of Thanalan. There's uh, not a lot of life out here.
But there is an Aetherite. Alright, let's see what this asshole wants. State your business, adventurer. <laughs> so this is the one Whiskate sends me. I haven't the foggiest what he sees in you. And until I do, you will receive no aid from me. Well... Why does everyone have to be so frigging difficult? I mean, these pants are kind of shit. They are shit! Why are they so fucking shit? Whatever, we'll grab them anyway. Hey, level up! And, well, they're actually making me wear them. Well, I also get to put boots on again, so that's, that's a plus. Alright. Persistent bugger. Very well, let's have a look at you. You've seen your share of battle, there's no mistaking that. And you did manage to obtain the adamantois egg. However, that was not more than a display of brute force and blind courage. The nun I once fought also believed that his strength would save him. He was wrong, and now I am none. Many years ago, I joined the company of heroes to hone my skills, instead of challenging my predecessor before I was ready. Even when I was young, I understood that victory goes to the patient, the cunning, and the pragmatic. That is why I claimed my position, and, is, and it is why I still hold it. And it is why I will not help an unproven whelp. The children of the Sands do not offer aid to strangers. To do so is a sign of weakness. However, if you were recognized as a skilled hunter in your own right, it would be permissible to assist you. A child who wishes to become a hunter must collect the blood of seven sundrakes. You are not a child, so you may find this to be easy, but you are not of the U tribe, or U tribe, so perhaps not. I will, continue, I will consider your request once you have brought me the blood, and not a moment sooner. Okay, we'll bring you some frigging blood. You cat bastard. Wait, I'm also a cat bastard. There's a Sundrake. Let's kill it. That's one. That's five. And one more makes seven. Man, what a beautiful little oasis. Too bad it's populated by an asshole. We're back with the stupid blood you wanted. I will not help an unproven whelp. Bring me the blood or we have nothing to discuss. You are a hunter of beast. This much I now know to be true. But Titan is no mere beast. If you mean to hunt a god, you must prove much more to me. Man, what's this look like? Ah, uh, it's shit. Well, these ear cuffs are better. Hunting a beast is a simple affair. You merely stalk, pursue, and slay. Hunting a beast man, however, is far more complex endeavor. Across the desert to the east lies an Amalja encampment. There dwells a warrior renowned for both his strength and his guile. To even face this Amalja in battle, you must first find a way to lure him away from the encampment. This will be your test, to draw out and defeat the veteran. For this I will offer you no advice, only this worn spear. Why, you ask? You will have to solve that riddle yourself. Now go, slay his, this old warrior and bring me his necklace. So, in other words, another long run back into the desert. Fucking cat bastard. Here's where we need to go. We need to go ahead and plant this spear right in there. <clears throat> and I'm sure this motherfucker wants that spear. Those sandworms are ugly. I'm 
So, it said a mournful cry rolls across the desert. I imagine this spear was used to kill one of this guy's family members, which is kind of fucked. But now he's dead. Okay, let's see if he's satisfied now. Tell me, adventurer, is our old nemesis dead? Sure is. Tis a fine necklace, as befits a veteran of countless battles. It will make an excellent trophy. The spear? It belonged to one of his brothers. I knew when he spied it from afar, he would be unable to resist venturing outside the encampment to see for himself. Did you discern my intent? Intent, or was it dumb luck, I wonder? <laughs> Either way, you impress me, adventurer. I shall tell you of the ingredient you seek. Oh, right, I forgot we were making food. A shame we did not meet when I was still with the company of heroes. You would have made a fine recruit. But no point in dwelling on what cannot be. You have a Wellwick worm to hunt. Sandworms slither brazenly across the desert dunes, but Wellwick worms are st far fewer in number. Rarity breeds demand, and so their meat is highly prized as a delicacy. The only way to catch your quarry is to entice it with something it cannot resist. These worms prey on the smaller creatures of the Sagoli. A freshly slaughtered angler carcass will be my choice of bait. There is an area teeming with anglers to the east. I will mark it upon your map, along with the location where the Wellwick worms are more frequently sighted. Be warned, the blood will drive the worm into a feeding frenzy. If your skills are lacking, it will devour you as well. Well, I don't intend to be consumed by one of those glorified, uncircumcised penises, so... Let's go and catch an angler. Specifically, let's go and kill an angler. There's one! That's one of the weirdest looking creatures I have ever seen. And now it's dead. And we have the corpse. Alright, here we are. Ding, ding, ding! Dinner time! Alright, I have to wait. Eh. There it is. And it's ugly. It's also pathetic. Hooray! We killed a giant worm. That looks like an uncut dick. Alright, we killed your stupid worm. You look well. Have you caught your quarry then? Sure have. Your skills as a hunter rival those of our best. I applaud your success, Foxy. The meat will need to be heavily smoked before I ship it to Whiskate. Worry not, you have my word that he will receive it in time for the banquet. You must be eager to obtain the third ingredient. I regret to say that I know not of its location. <clears throat> for the nonce, you should return to Costa del Sol and seek Whiskate's counsel. Ah, but hold a moment. Since you will be meeting the captain again soon, there is something I would like you to deliver him for me. Are these any good? I have the same damn thing. So I'm take the gold. Silver, in this case. The captain was always fond of this brand wine. I would be grateful if you could deliver it to him on my behalf. I was a reckless, angry youth when I first joined the company, and he would have been well within his rights to cast me out. Everything I have, I owe to his wisdom and generosity. I, Whiskate, was a firm yet fair teacher, an expert molder of men, and I suspect this is still the case now. Please give him my regards, Foxy. Sure. Let's go back to Costa del Sol. Finally, back to the tropical paradise. Let's see what we need to do next. Well met, Foxy. Landonel and Udo Nun spoke both, uh, both spoke highly of you. What brings you here today? 
some booze. Ah, my favorite. I shall have to thank the nun personally. Now you have but one ingredient left. Fortunately, you will not have to travel to Aldenard this time to obtain it. Truth be told, I never intended for you to collect this last ingredient. Brayflox, my old quartermaster, wished to bring it to Costa del Sol herself. However, not long ago, she sent word that there has been some trouble at the long stop, and that the delivery would be delayed indefinitely. She told me nothing of the incident itself, but I fear the situation may be dire. Though I would like nothing more than to aid her myself, I have no choice but to turn to you and your allies. Make haste to Hidden Falls docks and speak with Ozun Nazun. What a name. He will direct you to Raincatcher Gully, where Brave Phlox and her people have made their home. Here is Ozun Nazun. Of course he had to be a Lalafell with that stupid name. What's the hurry, Venturer? Eh, something happened over, happened over at the Gobby settlement? I don't know why you're so eager to help a bunch of beast men, but go and talk to the skipper over yonder. She'll ferry you to Raincatcher Gully. Ah, so we're taking a boat. We're going to Raincatcher Gully. You coming along? Sure, we're coming. Oh, look. Frogs. My old nemesis. Here we are at Brayflox, the goblin. Tongue flaps of Whiskate be reaching ears of Blay uh, Brayflox. Uplander is come for tasty fresh gobby treats, yes? Quest prize of Uplander deep and long stop. Flighty beasts chase gobby flock from homes. Gobby flock needs godly, uh, goodly Uplander gives safety to long stop with much hand lending. So in other words, some big flying monster went into their home and we need to kill it. And we need to go to Brave Flox's Lawn Stop, which is a dungeon that we will tackle in the next episode. Until then, my name is Foxy Games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Koopa